accounting departments regularly print reports for looking up transactions and analyzing trends. The operational side creates transaction forms for customers and vendors, and labels for the warehouse and shipping. Spire generates these reports and forms with ease. Reports and forms can be loaded from various places, depending on the purpose and output. On many screens with grids, there is a Report Toolbar button that will print reports either for all records displayed on the grid or just those highlighted. Choosing all records is especially interesting when the grid is showing records that meet filtered criteria. The reports and forms available to print from here are those that would typically be printed for one record or a specific selection. In some places in Spire, there is a specific tab dedicated for reports, typically for record or transaction lists that require a range of dates or other selection criteria. And when you're editing a record, there often is a report toolbar button that allows printing something relevant to just this record. The reports you have access for printing are defined in the Spire Server Administrator in the Report section. Enable or disable the Spire stock reports you want to use or upload custom reports to add to this list, which could include modifications to the stock reports. Each report is assigned to one or more templates, which identifies the location from where that report can be printed. Once the availability of all reports is determined, you can then use company settings and user security to specify which reports each user has access to and the methods of outputting the report content if you want to limit which reports or methods are available to each user. Spire has different types of reports available for different purposes. Some reports are for internal use, for accounting or analysis, to generate a list of amounts or outstanding transactions as examples. When printing from the Reports tab, there will be at least one report template to select from, where each has its own set of record selection criteria and report list. Click the Printer button to open this list of reports and check the ones you want to print, where selections are remembered from the last time. For all reports, you can print a paper to the indicated printer and number of copies, or email to recipients, or preview the report to verify the contents beforehand, or if you don't need to distribute it. If multiple reports were selected, they will preview on separate tabs. Some reports are actually forms to print or email to customers or vendors, such as invoices or purchase orders. Often these are printed or sent individually or for a specific set of records. When printing from the toolbar button for the desired record selection, the same report screen appears for choosing the reports and the output methods. If you want to email multiple forms, pick whether they will be sent individually or as a batch group then pick the desired recipients to send now or save into a queue and send later. Alternatively, you can also email forms by first selecting the records from the grid and then clicking the Email Toolbar button to start with the recipient selection. Then attach the report forms as required. Some reports are labels that print in a special layout, typically for inventory items. When the Labels button is clicked, a Print Labels screen appears to determine how many are needed to print for each item. Then the Report screen can be opened for picking the predefined layout that matches your labels.